Good morning children. I am Preeta Rani again here to deal with the second session of our grammar class. I hope you all have received the notes of the first session that is common nouns. So the first lesson of our grammar portion deals with common and proper nouns. In the last class we studied what is a noun and what is a common noun. I hope you all have understood what is a noun because you have studied it in your previous classes in your first standard, second standard you all studied what is a noun with the name naming word. Okay, so what is a naming word? It's a name, name given to a particular person, place, animal, thing, etc. So everything that is around us has a name. So that is called a naming word or a noun. And in the last class, we have dealt with common nouns. And today, we are going to find out what is a proper noun. Before that, let us recap. What is a common noun? Common noun is a name given in general to person, place, thing, animal, etc. If I say a dog, it's a common noun. A man is a common noun. A boy, common noun. A girl, common noun. So, a name given in general is a common noun. Then, what is a proper noun? Proper noun means it's a name given in particular to a person, place, thing or animal. For example, if I say a dog, it's a common noun because all kinds of that particular animal is named as dog. If I say chair, it's a common noun. If I say pen, it's a common noun. If I say lady, it's a common noun. Clear. But if I mention myself as Preeta, then that is the particular name given to me. Okay. You have a teacher, teacher is a common noun, but my name is Preeta. So, Preeta is the particular name given to me. So, that is proper noun. So, what's a proper noun? Proper noun is the name given in particular. Here we have a lot of pictures. We can go through these pictures. One is the picture of a boy, a girl. A building there, then an animal here, another building, another one. So these are the names of some persons, I mean pictures of some persons and places, buildings, etc. But if I say it is a boy, we can say it's a common noun because all the kind of these kind of people are called boys, isn't it? But if we give a special name to that boy, here comes Rahul, then Rahul is the special name, the particular name given to this boy, then Rahul is a proper noun, so proper noun is the particular name given to the boy, so boy is a common noun, but Rahul is the proper noun. Clear? Here we have a picture of the a girl. Girl is a common noun. But if we give a name, Adidi, then Adidi is a proper noun. And see, see Rahul, their R is capital letter. Remember, all the proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Keep it in mind. Okay. So proper nouns are special names and we write the special names in capital letter. All the proper nouns are written in capital letters. Clear. So next we have a picture here and the picture is of, I think you are familiar with this picture. Yes, it is the world famous Taj Mahal. Is the name of that particular building. Okay. 
See here, Taj Mahal begins with capital letter. Understood? So, proper noun always begin with capital letter. And we, here we have a dog. If I say a dog, it's a common noun. But if I say Rocky, then that Rocky is the name given to that particular animal. So, Rocky is a proper noun. It's a special name. Clear. Here we have another one, a hospital. And the, if we say hospital, it is common noun. But if we say Kim's hospital, it is the name of this particular hospital. So, then it is proper noun. Clear. If we simply say hospital, it is common noun. But if we particularly mention the name of that hospital, then it becomes proper noun. Clear. Okay. Next, we have a building here. And what is the building? Yeah, school. Isn't it? Okay. So, if we say school, then it is common. But if we say Sarvodaya Vidyalaya, it is proper. So, do you understand the difference between common and proper noun? Common noun means it's a general name. General name given to a person, place, animal or thing. Proper noun means it's a particular name. The special names we give, we give to a person, place, animal or thing. Is it clear? Okay, so now we can just go through the definition, proper nouns. The definition is there in your textbook itself. So, this is it. Proper nouns are the special names of people, places, animals or things. They are the special names. And always remember, proper nouns begin with capital letters. Okay, proper nouns always begin with capital letter. Here we have the examples. Aditi begin with capital letter. Rahul, Mumbai, Taj Mahal. Everything begins with capital letter. Clear? And the names of the days of the week. That is if we say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. They are all proper nouns. So we have to begin it with capital letter. The names of the months. They are also proper nouns and the special days just like uh, if we say the Republic Day, Diwali, Onam, they are all Christmas etc. They are all special days. So remember proper nouns means it is the name given in special and the names of the days of the week. Which are the days of the week? Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So these Sunday, Monday, Tuesday till Saturday they are all proper nouns and they all begin with capital letter. Okay. And the days and the names of the months. So which are the names of the month? January, February, March like that. So all those names of the months should be written in capital letter. Clear. Then the special days. Special days just like a Republic Day, Independence Day. The names of the festivals, etc. should be written in capital letter. It should begin with capital letter and they are all considered as proper nouns. Clear? See the examples here? Wednesday. W is in capital letter. March. Again, M is in capital letter. Republic D. That R and D should be in capital letter. Is it clear? Okay. So, we can move to the exercise in your textbook. See the exercise here. Circle the proper nouns in the following sentences. Hope you all have your textbook in front of you. Take your pencil and we can now do the exercise. Can we circle the proper nouns? I think you understand what a proper noun is. Have you? Okay. The first question is, Asif lives in Kolkata near the Hora Bridge. Asif lives in Kolkata near the Hora Bridge. So, can you say 
which are the proper nouns which are the proper nouns here we have yeah how many proper nouns in the first sentence three which are they as if is the name of a person kolkata is the name of a place then howrah bridge now the name of a place clear so these are the names of the special names given to a person and places so they are all proper nouns and remember see listen they are all written in capital letter as if a is in capital letter kolkata k capital letter howrah bridge h and the b is in capital letter clear now the second one my birthday was on the last saturday in march my birthday was on the last saturday in march any proper noun yeah we have two proper nouns which are they yeah saturday it is the days of the week and march name of a month clear so circle saturday and march circle it along with me all of you do it so birthday was on the last saturday saturday and march are proper nouns last diwali we went to jaipur for a holiday last diwali we went to jaipur for a holiday can you identify the proper nouns here yeah diwali you can easily identify the proper nouns because i told you proper noun begin with a capital letter so here diwali is a proper noun because it is a name of a festival clear and we have jaipur is the name of a place clear to you now simran bought a new pair of shoes simran bought a new pair of shoes any proper noun yes simran name of a girl clear now any blitzen is my favorite order any proper noun yes any blitzen is the 